Hey everyone, I just read Halo Divine Wind by Troy Denning, and it was okay. Another book mostly spent just resolving plot threads from previous books. I'd like to think that means they're winding down production on these accursed tie-in novels, but I bet it's probably just to make room for new things. It's a book about Veta Lopez and her ferret team of Spartan Freeze playing the long game undercover amongst an ex-covenant cult determined to activate the Halo rings from the Ark and their mission to stop it, the pros. Much like with Point of Light, this book goes out of its way to resolve the plot threads involving Veta Lopez and her team, Castor and his cult, and Intrepid Eye, and does so in a way that was actually pretty good. It was so refreshing to have actual consequences in one of these books. Like with Hunters in the Dark, I really enjoyed the setting of the Ark. It's such a crazy lost world kind of place, especially with its UNSC outposts and hidden Covenant remnants still trying to activate the rings. It was a lot of fun, and I thought the climax was actually pretty exciting, if only because it had actual stakes for a change. The cons? Intrepid Eye. It was nice to have her dumb plans blow up in her face at long last after getting away with everything for a few books, but she was always a discount free for free guilty spark, and she's still stupid levels of overpowered for most of the novel too. Case in point, she figures out that Veta Lopez and her Spartan Threes are spies simply because they avoid her. I hate it. In a lot of ways this is just a soft adaptation of Halo 3 without a lot of what made that game great, like the inclusion of the Flood, and it just feels hollow. And I couldn't stand and Gadagai. He was so annoying. This one wasn't too bad. It's nice to have actual stakes in these books again, but like with Point of Light, I can't really recommend it because of how much context from previous books is really needed to get the most out of it. If you're a super fan, I think this is one of the better recent ones. For everyone else, I think you can give it a skip. And I'm giving Halo Divine Wind a low B. What should I read next? Comment a suggestion down below. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share the video around. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.